What is up, guys? It is Uncle Bob, and we are here to keep grinding our way through the pure land. Gonna just keep on killing the bosses as we come across them. Go back, upgrade our weapon, fight through. Kind of use this time to grind out these weapons as much as we can. I have still yet to look up uh, what exactly the weapon stats are for killing enemies. Meaning, if it's just pure number, then once we get all of our weapon orbs, we're just going to run to like the beginning of the game and just kill early game monsters and just get weapon points up the wazoo. Hopefully it's not one of those instances where like when the weapons get to a certain level that lower level enemies don't do anything. I could find out now, but I'll find out when it's actually time to grind anyway. I'm going to have to grind anyway. Might as well. Well, there's not to mention all of the large gross smoker's cough you know how it is but um all of the uh what is going on what is shutting our backyard gate must be like a raccoon or something over there Ooh, sick dodge. But we have all those enemies that are going to be in the mana fortress that we got to grind out. Hoping that we have a nice, nice time grinding out those bigger enemies. Ah, that's great. Because the little bastard had the wall up. The defense up was hitting Lady instead. Alright, we got a boss to start us off. Alright, and since this is a boss that actually can be fought with. Let us have a proper fight about it. Okay, no, we're going to do one by one here. Okay, it's not the magic I cared about fading. Damn. Should just attack straight up and down on this guy. Get him! What's the exploder? 30 damage. Not nearly strong enough. Bullshit! That's bullshit. I led that motherfucker. with an 8.99. Dog, I just... Yo. I got a whacked. I got a crit. 
and it wasn't as strong. Hell yeah. Now, maybe it was the combination of both of their strikes. I don't know, but I'm going to assume it was just her. That was a most epic strike. Oh, yeah, no, it's the... <laughs> so I like how I did no damage, but yet still frozen. Wow. I didn't know you actually did that. Let's go, wakey wakey, motherfucker. All right. Never mind. Just, uh... All right, I need you to not... Let's just open this path here. We'll save it. Why not? All right. I hear a ghost. All right. Come get us flaming. This is the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, we got that sick music now. God damn it. Griffin claws. That's epic. Seven, seven. Back we go. God damn it. I thought I could do it fast enough. Come on, you girls should be able to handle that shit. Y'all generally do fine, just fine without me. Easy peasy. You remember when we were having a hard time in here? You guys remember that? Do you remember when these guys were wiping me out, like, without mercy?
And we got properly geared up and then... I have to heal occasionally. Which is mainly my fault because I knew that I had to come to the pure land just from the, my past, like remembering getting to this part of the game. I, I knew that was where I had to go. But I clearly couldn't remember, like, where is the actual in-game clue? Dog, I did not pay you any attention. I'm sorry, dog. I'm so sorry. That That is my fault that you died. I am sorry. That is my B. I was negligent. Yeah, I guess landing right back at the Grand Palace would have been the correct answer. I feel like I tried to, but I must just not have been. You must have to be right over the actual... Like, sprite. The sprites, I guess it would be. I don't know. What is that? It's part of mode 7. Like, the ground. Like, the way that it makes the overworld look. I don't know how we're getting so much more shit over here. I'll take more, though. Alright, what are we looking at for weapons here? What are you using? Javelin. What's the javelin sitting at? Okay. That's not too bad. Almost there for it. You're using the whip. God, still so far away. Nice. Just walking into nothing. It's nice because it's Sunday. It's my one day off and managed to get everything I needed done today. Kids are in bed. So it's like, nice, get to play myself an extra little piece. I don't know why I thought it, like, ended there. Cool, I guess do that. It is nice that I can still kind of have characters die here if I'm not careful. I don't know what you're doing all that for. Yee. That's nice. Finish this. Go get some drinks. All the stuff I need for tomorrow. Oh, shoot, it rocks, why don't you? fully charged for one of these.
There we go. Getting through those defenses there. You need to stop using that, though. Ah, Rabbi. You said Eggplant Man gets whacked, then fucking whack him. watching last few days of Dragon Ball been watching the like three of my favorite fights not just in the original Dragon Ball but I would say at least like back to back to back some of my favorite fights in the entire franchise and that's um I actually know what it really starts with is um Oh wait, no, I guess it's not. Actually, you know what? We'll just uh, I'm try I'm trying to be too technical. It's basically all the fights in the um I don't know what is this? The 22nd tournament, the 22nd tournament, whatever the world tournament it, number it is. The second one. Because you go from like having Roshi versus um, obviously hiding is Jackie Chun. You have him versus a wolf man in which like he's basically just dogging him the entire time and doing it in like a real slick fashion. The one before that is um, that I skipped was Tien versus Yamcha, in which, like, where Yamcha is, like, does his first Kamehameha wave, and all this other epic shit, gets his leg broken by Tien in a pretty brutal beatdown towards the end. And then you had Krillin versus Chaozu, where Krillin does his very first Kamehameha wave. Then you have Goku one hit, like, no diffing a fucking movie star. Which was, you know, expected, but also the way they did it was also epic. Good, I thought I was going to get hit there. And then you have the three matches afterwards that are, like... Those ones were already really fun, when the, especially the way that they do them. And then you got... I guess I could have done the X. And then after that, the three-piece, the glorious three-piece combo you get that is... Um, Roshi versus Tien, an epic fight in which, you know... Roshi does the old man handing it off to the next generation sort of thing. But was doing it in, like, the best of ways. Krillin versus Goku. Like, especially if you only ever watch Dragon Ball Z, like, think about it. An actual really fun match where Goku and Krillin are actually fighting each other. And, you know, Krillin is kind of getting dog walked a little bit. But like Krillin does this thing though. It's 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 a fu it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Goku does one of the nastiest things that he's does in any iteration of Dragon Ball ever in which he runs at Krillin but then jumps in the air 
But Kamehameha launches himself back at Krillin, punches him in the face and sends him flying, leaps into the air above him, drops down, fucking Captain Falcon knee of justice is him into the ground. And it's just, it's brutal. And it's probably one of the coolest things that I think Goku does in the whole franchise. And then now I'm finishing up tomorrow, it'll be the end of Goku versus Tien for the final, in which I know Tien wins by, like, a technicality, because, you know, as they were flying across the city out of the ring, Goku gets hit by a car and gets directed into the ground a split second sooner. But yeah, no, every single fight of this, um, every single fight of this tournament is just awesome from start to finish. None of it misses. It's all glorious. It is all most glorious. I mean, less and less enemies as we go along here. You can be a f- fucking... Can you chill? Yeah, eat ass. Don't do the stone needle thing. I mean, it is a needle lion, and I mean, that is the thing that they tend to do in every game. Always. In, like, RPGs. There's a needle lion, whatever it looks like, you can pretty much be assured that it's going to turn you to stone. Cool, sick dodge. Whoa. Just casually walking away from me. Teach you to turn your back on me, you piece of shit. fucker. Why is Defender making that noise? Pop! Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. What else is over here? Or was that one of us getting defensive? Why are they all dropping rabbits now? Okay, so what is... When did I get all my fucking MP robbed? What is this bullshit? Who did this? Who did this? Who is? Motherfuckers. It says it's okay. Candy. Why the fuck would you give me that? End game giving me candy. Nice. Uh, what's over here? Is this... Oh, wait, no. I was just here. I am dumb. No, I wasn't. Is that a circle? Did I make... Did I make a circle? Is that what I did?
Where did he go? But you know, this whole tournament is great. And then it finishes up after this with the arrival of King Piccolo and all of that shit. Bruh. That's going to be just another just bomb-ass arc. Goku goes up to Korin and gets the quote-unquote real holy or real sacred water or whatever this time. Okay, all right. All right, you want to do that? Just go with your bitch ass. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, this is kind of not looking familiar. And we haven't crossed that one... Thanks. This is looking like an area at the beginning. And I don't like it. I don't like how it feels like I'm lost. Okay, whoa, 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 all right, all right. I didn't know, I, bro, I straight up thought I was somewhere else. Um, all right, anyway, uh, magic spam, magic spam, magic spam. Just hit the animation slightly later. Yep. As cool as I thought those enemies were when I was younger, I am not playing with that shit. All right. Swords Orb, hell yeah. Alright, but since I tweaked, let's kill these motherfuckers. Just this one area looked like somewhere in the beginning, and I started feeling like the game was playing a fucking joke on me for a second. Turns out, no it didn't, we're good. Everything's good. It's all good. At least for me it is. For these things, not really. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. We killed who we needed. Let's go south. Upgrade our weapon. Buy nut. And then we're good for the day. Oh! Spicy.
Dragon Buster. Metal. That's what I would name my band, Dragon Buster. Hell yeah, I win this Mazda. All right, cool. Well, that's going to be it for the day, guys. We did it. We beat another boss. Getting these weapons. Uh, a lot of experience, even though it does not feel like I am uh, really getting anywhere. We might just have to do what I said and see if the... See how much experience you get for low-level enemies. And if it's just like at the highest level it's just one for one then i think we might just have to uh i think we might just have to go to a low level area and just max out our weapons because you know i've worked so hard to make sure my magic is up and i've consistently been trying to level up weapons never stopped leveling them up for every character i kind of feel like i want to as much as it would do absolutely nothing and just be an absolute waste of time, all those numbers would be like 8 or 9 or whatever they're supposed to be. And that would feel really good for really no reason at all. But, um, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the day. I will be back in a couple days with more of this. So let's see. This is at 8. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is this one of those cases where the... Are these supposed to go to level 8 or level 9? Because when I think I only have everything else is 8. So are things supposed to be at 8 or 9? Fuck, I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. Because it makes me wonder if the... If, the, um, if it's 8 or 9 levels that these things are supposed to go up. And if the enemies that drop them in the... Fortress aren't just ones to like wrap things up with like for ones that you've missed, but I could be wrong. I got to check it out till then guys. Peace